and yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, close enough, right? Like, you know. We often ask pregnant women the same questions. When are you due? Is it a boy or a girl? Have you picked names? The one you likely don't ask is, are you worried you'll die? But that's all Sheraven Johnson could think about since a pink line told her she was with child. There was a series of dreams. It wasn't just one. It was like, it was, it was haunting, actually. So it was, I wouldn't say dreams, more like nightmares. Nightmares that she or her child would die. Sitting around the kitchen table at her Encanto home, it's easy to discuss this on camera. Her two-month-old son sat safely in the arms of his mom and her wife, Nasira Johnson. But while pregnant, her fear consumed her, especially when she saw the data. Black women like her are three times more likely to die from childbirth than white women. And their kids are twice as likely. It was just like, okay, so I'm, I'm going into, I'm about to play Russian roulette with birth right now. Johnson was so worried about becoming a statistic, she wrote a letter to her unborn child, just in case. I did that in my phone. I did, in my notes. Not even her wife knew about it. I remember just saying how much I loved him um, and that, you know, if anything did happen, I tried my hardest to hold on. But she held on and delivered Asir Johnson in July. Johnson says she got there thanks to the help of her doula, Venice Cotton. They trust us to know what the doctors are saying. A doula is an informed and experienced aide who advises a woman before, during, and after childbirth, sort of like an educated best friend. To know what's going on and what type of complications could arise, and they trust us to be able to explain to them what's going on and let them make the right decision. Doulas are pricey and not typically covered by insurance. Limited research available shows they can reduce the risk of complications and low birth weights. And the local nonprofit For the Village wants more women to have them, especially black women. The group is working with Project Concern International to train doulas and provide them for free. And the mom being in this position helps the baby swing and rotate to anterior. But doulas aren't without controversy. They aren't licensed, so training varies. And Cotton says medical staff may feel doulas get in their way. We come in with not medical training, but experience and knowledge and a more natural way to do what they do with medicine. Johnson says Cotton support was what she and her wife needed. Having a partner there is nice you know, spouse or family member, but someone to guide that family member and to tell me what to do and to tell her how to help me, it was, it was comforting. That comfort wasn't just during labor. Johnson had prenatal checkups, but Cotton was keeping up with her while she was at home. I would have to send confirming pictures that I was laying in bed with my big jug of water. And the program offers the same support after birth. The other doulas, like Cotton, visit moms at home before their first postpartum checkup. The additional attention already helped two black moms get to the hospital for life-threatening issues that they didn't even know they had. Oh, I don't think... Birth should be a game of Russian roulette. Cotton's continued support also helped Johnson achieve a positive birth experience with son Asir. For her first child, Michaela, Johnson was induced and reluctantly agreed to an epidural. She wanted a drug-free delivery at a birthing center for her son, but needed help getting through the final hours of painful contractions. Nas was getting frustrated, and so Nas was just like, you know what, I'm going to go sit over here. So, and Shaven, she was being more than stubborn. Okay, she They can laugh now, but the situation was tense as Johnson begged to go to a hospital. Cotton says Johnson didn't show signs of complications, so she pushed her on, and Johnson is grateful. Having him naturally and, and allowing my body to do what it's made to do, is the best thing ever. Definitely. I would do it again. I would. I'd, I would. I'd risk it all again. She now plans to support other moms-to-be. Johnson completed doula training at For the Village earlier this month. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.